Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Summer and Kyle have been clashing non-stop and it's all coming to a head. As is typical for Young and Restless, it's only going to get worse before it gets better. Keep reading for a tease about the chaos coming up. Spoiler alert! Just as we all thought there would be a break in the fighting courtesy of Kyle's business trip to Paris with Andra, Young and Restless threw us a curveball when he walked back through the door of the Abbott Mansion unexpectedly upon hearing that Harrison had fallen ill on Summer's watch. O'Neill and PSNI condemned far-right attacks across Belfast. This played out as one would expect, with Diane landing firmly in the middle of the fracas, having been the person who alerted Kyle to the little boy's distress. The meddling mama was clearly trying to score points with her son, whom she's currently on the outs with after firing him from the family firm, and it worked. Summer, meanwhile, was left with a smattering of egg on her face as she neglected to update her ex on the situation, and, as is later revealed, also ignored his calls earlier that day. We're certainly not legal eagles, but we have to assume that wouldn't play well with a judge. Anyway, the whole incident serves to escalate the custody battle. Without giving away details, we'll just tease that Claire finds herself witnessing a skirmish in which Kyle ends up determined to move up the custody hearing, which leaves Summer feeling panicky. Now, some will recall that Summer mentioned the possibility of getting a powerful family member involved as a last resort, and young and restless spoilers tell us that's exactly what will happen when Victor pulls some strings to help Summer. The teaser makes it sound as though the mustache will simply buy off the judge, but we all know it won't be that cut and dried. For one thing, Victor's a big fan of his newest granddaughter Claire, who also happens to be Harrison's nanny and not Summer's favorite person. Some might say she's downright jealous of the time the boy spends with her cousin. Therefore, for Victor to run to the rescue, there would have to be some kind of stipulation in there about being nicer to Scary Poppins, right? Then again, Victor isn't on board with Claire working for the Abbots, especially knowing he's coming after Jack with both barrels, so he may not be too upset if Summer wins custody and lets her cousin go. Conversely, Victor may not have to pay off a judge to influence the outcome of the custody battle. As young and restless viewers well know, Kyle works for Victor now in his new head honcho position at Glissade. Kyle's entire focus hinges on his ability to use this company to strike back at his parents for firing him from Jabba. This gives Victor leverage over Kyle, which may come in handy when he endeavors to pull some strings to help his granddaughter. Might Victor simply imply that if Kyle doesn't cool his jets, he'll be out of a job before the sun sets? That could do the trick. Although, considering what a hothead Kyle's been recently, it may not have the desired effect. Aside from Victor pulling strings, the custody fracas is going to pull in. Who else? But Kyle and Summer's mothers, who are already bitter rivals who loathe one another. If that's not the definition of ugly and explosive, we don't know what would be. Watch for Phyllis and Diane to push each other's buttons even as Victor makes his move, which is bound to cause collateral damage of some kind. Cuts history. All of this is the definition of chaotic. Sadly, the person who has the most to lose is Wee Harrison, and we hope all of these battling adults will get it together for his sake. In the meantime, who's bringing the popcorn to the big show? 